Okay, the, you got to watch Reality Beano Black before this video, okay? And I upload that one. Now, you have to realize that this is north. This is a north shot, okay? And to explain and show you the truth factual that this is a north shot, and don't worry about that, okay? As you know, when Beano caught the BS, when they had the photo play bullshit, that the idea that if you pay attention to even to the shadows, ladies and gentlemen, that the factual is the idea that <laughs> it's supposed to be made out of flipping wood. So anyway, Germans don't make too much stuff out of wood. Don't get me wrong, there's some great German carpenters, but usually they usually let the Norwegians do it because most of the Norwegians and the Swedes and farther north are better carpenters. But the Germans make great cuckoo clocks, and the Germans are damn good with steel. They got bored with wood and started playing with steel. <laughs> so anyway, it doesn't matter what that is, okay? But th this stuff there, we all know it's 3D stuff that's basically factual out in the sky in space, okay? Now remember, we also caught a long time ago, we were able to see the satellite doing a laser shot down up in a corner to a shot. And anybody that's seen my videos and originally saw it when it came out, yes, the NASA's got the satellite up that is basically keeping an eye on Antarctica and the gaps that are cracking open on Antarctica and also the plane that flies out of the spook works down in the desert still goes down and takes peeky poos to see what's going on because we're getting some enormous crevices in certain parts of Antarctica. Okay, it'd be interesting to know if we have any crevices up north in the North Pole, but we also know that basically something that goes real deep and has a lot of cigars that can go anywhere in the world because they can go anywhere in the world in the water, sometimes pay, make little cracks in the ice shelf up in the North Pole. Okay, and watch the video before this reality being all black, you'll also see a lot of fast movement of some icebergs. Okay, and so what you do is you basically have play here at uh, the date and time UTC and Zulu, and when you see that at 19 and 20 Zulu, you know that that is nighttime. Okay. So that 3D motion is not from the sun that we know to be our sun, okay, that we always follow, that Soho will keep an eye on, in the sun, in the supergiants, and all those suns. Because, i.e., this is north, this is the reality that you watch the reality, Mino you know, Black, before this video, and you will see that this shot is shooting north, the other shot was shooting south, where I showed you two suns that way, okay, and this is on the bottom of the earth or in Antarctica, okay. They are in Antarctica, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So the idea at 19-something Zulu, and the moon comes around at 5, okay? Comes around at 5 UTC, okay? 5-ish UTC is when the moon comes around, okay? So what you are seeing is not the moon, and I'm not saying that it's not possibly other planets, so which are dead stars, dying stars that are not hot anymore. Planets are not hot anymore. Stars are hot at the idea that they come around hot is what you see that comes around here on these shots. Now this shot is to the north, remember this, okay? So you watch the video before this, reality be no black, okay? And that you will know that that factuality that this is a northern shot, so the suns, the suns, i.e. way more than one sun in the supergiants exist. Okay, there's way more than one sun out there, and the sun and the supergiants exist because this is to the north. Okay, separate. Remember, the other shot is to the south. That is in reality, being all black. And when you watch reality, being all black, and then you turn and watch this video, you're gonna go, "Holy crap!" There's way more than one sun, just like Bino says. Now, how I say, I just looked the data up and figured it out, and basically didn't figure it out. They basically the data and the truth. It's uh, huge, and I mean huge, information data banks all over the world show it because all the scientists put their data in. Okay, the suns, the suns, and the supergiants main sequence. Okay, because when you go, I'm not even going to go to the south shot here. Okay, but I'll show you the south shot. Okay, because you got to go watch reality being no black on the other shot. Okay, so let's do some freezing on some of the shots on this. Okay. We'll step back. And like I say, I try not to, uh, unless I make a huge mistake, to sit around and do any kind of uh, camera. I mean, you know, see what I'm saying by the idea of replay and recut and everything like that. So we're going to step back on that item. And here we go. And nope, it's not a snowmobile and it's not an ice machine. It's not a 
grooming machine running around it basically reality okay so let's get us to that and then let's zoom in on that because you know it's 1910 UTC or 1810 excuse me you can see the time right there and then also the factual that you you will see reality be no black and that camera is to the south okay this camera is to the north let me show you that real fast all right so you know the factuality that we always know that when you see this shot and this shot this is the one I'm shooting from I mean basically picking up from right now and then this is uh, to the south okay but this is also to the deep south or northeast sorry excuse me to the northeast okay so there Bino is all crossed up a little bit but anyway truth factual I won't even cut it out okay because when I make a mistake I totally step forward with it okay there's a mistake so northeast to the northeast okay so you get this footage on that actual objects in the air from the northeast on reality Bino black okay and this is basically to the north, okay? So this shot is to the northeast, okay? And this one is to the south, okay? So watch Reality Beano Black Northeast, and also you get this from the north, and we get a different angle and different shot, I guess, of the same, but there's way more than one sun. There's suns. So all combined, you get the reality of that there's way more than one sun, okay? Because you're going to have the reality Beano Black video that basically has that northeast view, and then you got this north view, okay? And yes, so these suns are way the hell out, ladies and gentlemen, way the hell out in space, but they are bright, and they are some that are 4 to 78 times the size of our sun. So we're going to get the light down here when we get in certain positions that we've never been in in Earth's trek around that we rotate around the sun. But the sun is in the supergiants. So these suns that basically straight out, this is evening time shot because this is 1538 UTC. Okay, that's not the sun. Okay, that is not the sun. That's not the sun. That's not the sun. That's not the sun. Okay, so I think we got also up on here on the, there you go. Okay, so you know that it's 1810. Now, how come they gave them the clock difference? What happened on that? That is something goofy. Because it's 1810, you see the photo. So forget the clock down on the bottom. So we got playing with that. They're playing with that on us, or somebody's playing with it. So you know factual in the video because it never changes. It's on the video right there. Now, we've seen some PSYOP BS play around with video. Yeah, we sure have. Tried to feed us fake crap. But anyway, this is truth and factual here. You got it. And let's blow up on that sun just for the hell of it because right there, the photo, 1810, okay? And that's what time it is. Not 15-something UTC. This is 1810 UTC. This is time taken at. Okay, we go to 1,000 and we'll scoot over real fast. You'll get the clock time and, it's, and it, we didn't mess with you, but they're messing with something on the ticker. So there's some massive something or other that's just freaky about uh, knowing that there's more than one sun, okay? We've had some famous... Uh, astrophysicists and uh, astrologers, astronomers that have passed away over the years and the idea they knew it and they couldn't, they talked about it but the idea never got full press. You'll never get full press because press, power, money and control doesn't want you to know how warm it's going to get. They want you to get cut, stuck in a corner pay top dollar for drinky poo and uh, air conditioning clouds. Okay, so there you go. There's the sun that who knows how long, we know the sun, our sun, is three minutes and something travel to get here on Earth. Okay, and this is Antarctica showing you this, and this basically is 18 Zulu, 1810 or something it was, Zulu. So, 1810 in three seconds, Zulu time, and the factuality that we see this come around a lot, and this is what we played through the video. And now what I'll do is I'll zoom down to the 150. And remember the other shot that I showed you on the reality uh, you know, there's no apologies. I'm human. But basically, was showing you in the idea. I was thinking that that was, was a south shot, but the idea that it doesn't really matter. This is all factual, still truth, and not really tripped up at all. It's just the idea that we'll customize this to the. Actually, there's way more than one sun. And okay, I apologize. I was looking at this over here. I guess that's the time stamp of the start of the video or something. Okay, so everything's all cool. There's no messing with the clock. Okay, so there you go. And is that fireball? So that sun might be a lot closer to Earth than what we expect and see because it's not just the idea that in its 3D, as you see it do with its 3D motion. So 
it's one of our suns that are in the supergiants and it's closer to earth it sure seems by eye vision wise than our sun and it probably also factually is because let's go to some data again on I can throw some uh, actual data up yon to you as far as the supergiants again if someone is new here so and I'll hit this let play I guess real fast we'll let this play through real fast and it's playing backwards right now but that'll show you the example factual that that is a sun And here should come the sun backwards. Okay, this is backwards, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so there's the sun, and then we'll have the moon follow it because the moon is preceding it right now, and that was the moon there going down in front of it. Okay, so if I step, we step back, and actually, again, at, the, at nighttime in the deal, it looks like there's some kind of a shadow. Let's, let's check that back one more time. Check these shadows that are coming up in the nighttime sky, and that's not moonlight because the moon's not out. So let's zoom in on that that's on the back of the eye. Uh. Now no matter what, there's a shadow of something in the sky and it's at nighttime, okay? So those could be the scientists up there looking at it. Let's take a look as we will step through this. Okay, we'll go down and we will step and we'll see what we get for the next shot. And yeah, it sure looks like they're out there looking at that, whatever that was. So, because I can back up, I believe, and it'll be back. And there we get that shadow that someone, that the all, the, something it looks like scientists are out there, either that or those might be camera set up or something or something, observer, observatory or something, but it sure looks like scientists out there on the deck. So, could be wrong on that. Don't really care too much. The idea that we see that shadow as you go through that, let's go down. Because no matter what, you're going to see the shadow on there. And then I'm not really too worried about knowing if the scientists come out at a certain time or if they've got something sitting on the roof right now or something. It might be the smokestacks all, all along that we've always seen, too, because they got generators back there. And that could be it because I don't see any movement. But no matter what, going through this here at nighttime, we get an interesting array on, once again, there is some planet or something, star shining on the back of the Nehemiah room station and we also seen that star cluster you've seen the amazing things that we've seen before down there and then so backing up there is black light at night and as you see there there's something there also that shadow because it'll disappear I'll just boom back and I'm talking right here so back boom there so we've seen these dark streaks before, dark light. So, and also you see action there in the sky, off that cloud or whatever. Or so, very unique. Anyway, so we got way more than one sun. So should be able to let this hit start again, and I think it'll play. So keep an eye on all the movies from the webcams because we'll get the sun there and the moon was before that and here we go we're not going backwards anymore and you will end up with another because we'll go up to the clock there's the clock and we should get around to the 1800 hour and we will get And that is what we froze and show you in the photos a little bit earlier. So also watch Real Beano Black before this one. And basically that was from the northeast, that shot. Okay, so different angles. And remember this is all down at Antarctica. So they're on the bottom of the world, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, folks, the moon is supposed to look like this on the 9th. Okay, but what is it looking like? Yep, it's looking just like what you see. You can go outside, ladies and gentlemen, and the moon is illuminated quite well by the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it doesn't look like what it's supposed to look like. Okay, it's illuminated like this right now. Not like this. And huge CME is still coming off the sun, so watch your dates and times on that. That one missed Earth. Thank gosh. Because it's big. Remember, that's Earth right there. So, telemetry and stuff on the next video.